Yo, what is up guys? Dale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hope you guys are doing well. So some really good news in regards to the undercard of Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Anthony Joshua 2. The heavyweight bout between Alexander Povetkin and Michael Hunter has now officially been confirmed. I've got to say, I really, really like this fight. I really do. First and foremost, I like watching both guys fight for different reasons. Alexander Povetkin, a much more explosive fighter in regards to punching power. I would call him an aggressive counterpuncher. Very underrated boxing skills. And he's been a relevant heavyweight for about 11 or 12 years now. So I like Alexander Povetkin. I like his style. And as for Michael Hunter, he's a guy who's grown on me in recent fights. I love his attitude. He's basically a world-class talent with a journeyman mindset. What I mean by that is obviously he's very talented, he's got skills, but he's willing to fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. The guy has taken short notice fights, he's put his hat in the ring for other short notice fights. I mean, the guy just doesn't seem to duck anybody, you know? Even when Alexander Yusek pulled out against Carlos Takam a little while ago when he got injured, I mean, Michael Hunter said he would fight Carlos Takam on a week or two's notice. What other heavyweights are doing that? Why would you want to fight Carlos Takam on a week's notice? There's nothing in it for you. It's risky. But Michael Hunter would take that risk. He's that type of fighter. So I love his mindset. And also, I like watching him fight. He brings something different to the heavyweight division. He's a smaller heavyweight, but he's got very quick feet. He likes to step in and out. Very good hand speed. He's got a nice jab. He throws punches in bunches. And he can throw decent combinations. He's just got a nice, fluid style to watch that not many heavyweights have. And he takes risks in there as well. He takes risks in the ring, you know? So I like watching Michael Hunter fight as well. So I like both guys, and stylistically, I believe Alexander Povetkin versus Michael Hunter is an intriguing fight. I can conceivably see a way both guys win. I think both guys have a realistic chance to win, and ultimately... I see it as a competitive fight. You know, both guys have something to gain here. If the older Alexander Povetkin can beat a young, hungry contender like Michael Hunter, then that puts Povetkin back in the mix for a big fight. And if Michael Hunter can beat the experienced stalwart in Povetkin, then, you know, that really cements Michael Hunter as a genuine top 10 heavyweight contender. So both guys have something to gain here. And like I said, the style clash is really intriguing. I certainly feel Michael Hunter's hand and foot speed along with his lateral movement, punch output and general stamina will give the older Alexander Povetkin a lot of problems. You know, Alexander Povetkin doesn't have the best gas tank in the world, especially now at this stage of his career. You know, you look at that Huey Fury fight, Povetkin really wasn't working that hard. You know, Huey Fury wasn't really making him work that much, but Povetkin was still blowing really hard in that fight. So you'd imagine Michael Hunter's style could take it out of Povetkin. However, you know, Povetkin is a shrewd, heavy-handed counterpuncher. And against a guy like Michael Hunter who takes risks, you know, that can be a recipe for disaster for Michael Hunter. You look at that Sergei Kuzmin fight. Michael Hunter was having pretty much every round his own way. But occasionally, he would hold his feet and trade, and he would get caught with a big left hook or a big overhand right. You know, Povetkin hits a lot harder than Sergei Kuzmin, and he's got much better timing and accuracy. He can make those moments count, whereas Sergei Kuzmin couldn't. So, if Michael Hunter gives Alexander Povetkin the same opportunities he gave Sergei Kuzmin, there's every chance Povetkin could land that big left hook or that sneaky overhand right, and knock Michael Hunter out. Make no mistake, Povetkin is still dangerous, he still punches hard, and he's got very good timing. So, Michael Hunter can't afford to make as many defensive mistakes against Alexander Povetkin as he did against Sergei Kuzmin. So there's every chance he could lose this fight also. Ultimately, there's a clear way I see both guys winning or losing this fight, and I see it as very competitive. And that's what I want from boxing. I want competitive fights, and we have one here. 
I will make my official prediction a bit nearer of a time. I need a bit more time to think about it, but I do have a vague idea of who I think would win this fight, but that's for another video. Anyway, share your thoughts below. What do you make of this fight? I really like it personally, but yeah, share your thoughts below. Peace.